All right, welcome back. In the last video, we um, figured out the fixed end moments for each of the spans A, B, B, C, and C, D. And now we're going to work on the distribution factors for the joints B and C. Okay, so remember our distribution factor is the k value of the side of the span you're looking at over the summation of the k factor. Uh, the k value for the spans that the joint is touching. So if we're focusing on joint B and we wanted the distribution factor for the right, left side of B or BA, it'd be the k value of BA divided by the sum of the k around joint B. So that means the k value of span AB plus the k value of span BC. And your k value, remember, is equal to i over l. And up here we said um, ei is actually constant. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Now, when you have, let's look at joint B. So if we looked at joint B, OK, our distribution factors, we need two of them. We need one on the left side of B and one on the right side of B. And on the left side of B, since A is not a fixed end anymore, you have to modify the K value or the stiffness. So the K value, if this was a fixed end, it would just be I over L. Since this is not a fixed end and it's, an, it's a roller or a pin, I mean, it, as long as it's not a fixed end, the distribution factor actually, or the K value actually becomes 3 fourths of whatever the K value would have been if A was a fixed end. So to find the distribution factor for BA, we do the K value of BA, which is actually 3 quarters of I over L. And I over L, the length is 18, right? divided by the sum of the k values joint B is touching. Joint B is touching BA and BC. Uh, so we look at the left side and the right side. So the left side, again, since A is not a fixed end, it's actually 3 quarters of I over L, which is 18, plus BC, which is just I over L, which is 20. Okay. The reason, I, uh, the reason k factor for BC is not 3 quarters is because we don't really touch what's in the middle. We just look at the outside. So we have A and we have D here. So the only k values we're going to modify are um, um, spans A, B, and C, D. Okay. So if we solve this out, remember our I's are constant. So we can distribute it out. I over I becomes 1. You get 3 quarters of 1 over 18 over 3 quarters 1 over 18 plus 1 over 20. Okay, and if you if you solve that out, uh, you should get the distribution factor for BA is 0 0.453. Uh, I'm just making sure this is right. Yeah, it should be right. So for the distribution factor for BC, now we're looking at the right side of joint B, um, that's equal to uh, the, the k value on the right side, which is I over L, which is 20, right? The length is 20, divided by the k value for the left side plus the right side. The left side is I over L, which is 18, and that's multiplied by 3 quarters because A is not a fixed end, plus I over 20. Okay? And again, the I's are constant, so you end up getting 1 over 20 over 3 quarters times 1 over 18 plus 1 over 20. And if you solve that out, you should get um, 0 0.543. Okay? So the distribution factor for B, B A is 0.543 and the distribution factor for B C is 0.543.
Did I say this was 0.543? This is 0.453. This is 0.543. A little tricky there. Um, and so now we look at the distribution factor for uh, joint joint um, C. Okay, and um, I'll just I'll erase this so you guys can still see. You can still see the um, diagram. Now for joint C, the distribution factor for the left side of uh, C is CB, and that's equal to the K value of the left side, which is just I over 20, right? I over L divided by the left side plus the right side. The left side is I over 20, and the right side is I over 18. And since D is not a fixed end, it's a pin, you have to multiply by this, or this by 3 fourths, okay? And again, the, I, the I's cancel out, so you end up with 1 over 20 plus, or 1 over 20 over 1 over 20 plus 3 quarters of 1 over 18. And if you solve that out, you should get 0 0.543. This is the distribution factor for the left side of left side of C, right? The distribution factor for the right side or C D is again equal to the K value of the right side, which is I over L, and L is 18, and since D is a, a pin, you have to multiply this by three fourths, divided by the K values of the left side and the right side of C. The left side is I over 20. And the right side is I over 18, but it's 3 quarters, right? So you can factor out the I's. Uh, you get 3 quarters, 1 over 18, over 1 over 20, plus 3 quarters of 1 over 18. And if you solve that out, you should get 0 0.453. Okay, so we figured out the distribution factors for joint B and the distribution factors for joint C, um, considering that A and D are not fixed ends. They're they're open. They're not. they side A or joint A is a roller and joint D is a pin. All right. So in the next video, we'll put this into the chart and we'll start doing our moment distribution for this problem. All right. See you then.